Hey, what's up YouTube? Just a short update video for this upcoming patch this Tuesday the 19th. This is update 1.3. It's going to bring larger capacity to our factories for our pieces of bait, which is a good change. They did talk about um, being able to top off the banks, but I don't think that is coming in this update. They didn't really specify on that, but they did say that they're going to increase the storage so we don't have to gather them as much, which is, which is good. Uh, another thing, PvP opt-in, you can flag for PvP. They said you can flag from PvP and from the menu. I'm not really sure if that's before you get into the game or if it's something that you can toggle while you're in the game. Not really sure. They didn't go into too much depth with that, but there is a flagging option coming Tuesday, which is also pretty cool if you're into the PvP scene. Uh, another thing about the PvP, um, you no longer can fast travel in a cutthroat cargo. Uh, I think that's a good change, although I do believe it's going to minimize the fighting a little bit. And the reason why I say that is obviously once you grab the cutthroat cargo, the map, and that first initial fight, and let's say you win or you lose, that person or yourself starts sailing away. People can no longer fast travel to catch up to you, so they literally have to spawn and try to catch you. And I know some people are going to like that, um, but it's going to eliminate the fighting um, at the destination area, which may, may be a good change. Um, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I don't know how I feel about that right now, but um, it will make that first fight much more important it, um, as far as if it, you're fighting two people or you're fighting five people, uh, it, it might make for an exciting exchange because people can't join late and fast travel in front of you. So they have to be there in the beginning. So that the, the first fight might be better. Um, there just won't be any fights at the end. So whoever pretty much runs away with the treasure is pretty much gonna get the treasure um, unless you have a ballista taking out sales or whatnot. So that, that could make for an interesting dynamic and we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But I'm gonna let you guys hear from the devs themselves. I kind of chopped up the, their live stream of the deck. Um, they went over a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff coming, uh, a lot of really good changes coming, a lot of good content coming. Um, but maybe that's for a different video. This was just to cover what's coming Tuesday which the main things that were larger capacity to our factor factories, the PVP opt-in, and the changes to cutthroat cargo. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little video. Uh, I'm gonna end the video on showing the clips from the deck so you can actually see for, or hear for yourself from the devs. So thank you for watching guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. which is something I also wanted to bring up. Um, I didn't, I forgot to kind of mention it, but next week we have a, a, a next update coming, 1.3. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting update in the sense that it answers a lot of the feedback that we received from the community since the launch. One of which is actually on uh, the collection of pieces of eight, right? Um, so we are basically uh, making it a little bit easier for people at the beginning. Uh, I think, I don't know, Mike, if you feel comfortable talking a bit about this, uh, the increase of uh, storage space, I think, and... Um, definitely, I mean, these are the things that uh, we recognize through some of the player patterns, right, of our community, and um, we realize that, like, a really short, um, you know, timing uh, before the pieces of it, like, you know, just fills up your coffers very quickly, and players have this uh, pressure to actually collect it, uh, that's not the real intent so you know increment to the storage size making fun time a bit longer uh you know this will actually uh lessen a bit of the pressure in terms of the collection uh and this is you know the first 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 round of fixes mm -hmm. that we are doing right to ensure that uh, the players can enjoy the game more uh out of the end game state yeah next question uh and that's something i'm really invested in because uh, that's one of my best part on scone and bones is uh on the subject of pvp so there's mm -hmm. a couple of questions right uh the first question is are we planning to add more pvp but also pve co-op and solo uh activities in the future uh yes that had always been a plan every single season uh we try our best to actually bring in um activities that it's um you know uh for 
I guess would like to play PvE and PvP. So, you know, in the upcoming update, right, we're going to have uh, what we call a PvP opt-in system, right, where you can actually have PvP anywhere. So, yeah. Great. And lucky for me, somebody asked the exact question I wanted to ask next. Uh, will there be an option to tag PvP flag from the menu? Yes. Uh, yes, you'll be able to. I mean, the the world of Skull and Bones, I explained it beautiful, right? Um, you know, you choosing a spot to just having a duel with your friend, just turn your flags on and just go there and duke it out, right? Uh, if people just want to skirmish, uh, just do it. It's uh, That's the playground we created for the community, um, you know, and you know, over the seasons, we'll start to create more and more tools uh, like this for the players to have fun, you know, in the world. So confirm PvP opt-in is coming. When is it coming? Um, it will come up in the next update. Uh, that's coming out next Tuesday, right? Next Tuesday, yes, yeah. That's correct. Correct. Uh, Nevin, have you played the PvP opt-in? What do you think of it? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I think, look, at the end of the day, obviously, this game... Um, People are asking for PvP, and as mentioned, we want to make sure that PvP is evolving with how the community is evolving. Um, so it's a step in, on our roadmap to uh, ensure that we give people a taste as we get uh, comfortable with PvP uh, in live. Um, we're working on creating PvP game modes, as mentioned, and so um, this is going to be great. It allows people to kind of uh, uh, experience a, a new way of playing the game um, and really test uh, you know, their, their skills against one another. And I think some of the things that we've seen is people kind of creating opportunities to have their own uh, PvP, um, you know, sort of uh, battles, uh, you know, outside of the normal uh, uh, game rules. And that's exciting. So clearly people want it. Um, it's something we've been working on. And as mentioned, it's part of the roadmap to release it in a, in a planned um, cadence so that we're evolving the product um, with the community. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, we had a PlayStation, I think, two weeks ago, and uh, it was a lot of fun to just be able to stay around St. Anne and PvP with each other. And yeah, I, I'll, I'll let the details for the, for the time where we communicate more about how this PvP opt-in feature will work, uh, but I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun. Um, we talked about the win. Oh, yeah, another one. Uh, so a lot of people are engaged in the in game and, and fighting against or hunting down rogues. And one of the things that rogues loot a lot is uh, silver chest. So when you ac start accumulating a lot of silver chests, I've seen people with like 10, 15, 30, hundreds of silver chests. Yes. It can be a bit tedious to open them one by one. Uh, is that something we're looking to address to make it easier for people to open their chest? Uh, yes. The next update that's coming itself, you can now open multiple uh, silver chests. So basically one button press, you open all the chests yep. at once. Yeah, I see comments in the chat saying 300 silver chest. The chat, a lot of stuff asking about like the helm laser and stuff, right? So I, I, I can take that first. I think Cutthroat Cargo itself, helm laser, um, the team is working hard to improve on the systems to make it actually a, a PvP activity that works well, right? So something we didn't really talk about is the improvements to Cutthroat Cargo, um, you know, where like, you know, in the next update, you're not going to be able to fast travel. Um, you start off at the same spot, so it's a, it's a fair, you know, better ground right off the start. Like whoever runs off with the treasure, like people just do chase, you know, yeah. And uh, that is basically Cutthroat Cargo. And for Helm Major, um, the team is actually aware of how some pirates were actually um, you know, using the hum wager to their advantage and, you know, uh, fixes are coming along the way as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for being uh, a fair teammate with all the feedback I've been bringing up to you. Uh, you know, nice and